Have you ever wondered why young people with fewer opportunities are underrepresented in international youth projects? Before we start organising a programme, it is essential that we identify the barriers that might hinder their access to such opportunities. By doing so, we can find ways to overcome these challenges. Let's hear first-hand experiences on how this can be done. For my organization, inclusion plays a big role because we are a socio-cultural center called Die Villa. And we have uh, many different kinds of youth work, but not only we are working with the young people, we are also working with all kinds of age groups. And yeah, basically we have activities for everyone. So for us, it's quite simple to identify the barriers uh, young people have because we have uh, a big network in Leipzig but also out of Leipzig in rural areas and we work with um, different cooperation partners. When you want to organize a project it doesn't have to have the focus on social inclusion because you anyways have to think about organizing it in an inclusive way because you work with people. And when you work on it, you have to think about the venue, about the necessities of other people. So you have to think of all the people that, for example, are on a wheelchair. You have to, to provide them uh, a good way for them to, to reach all the places in the venue or the garden or wherever you do it. You have to think of those who cannot move that much and... For activities, it has to be also very inclusive because there are people that cannot do all kinds of uh, games or activities. And it's important to try to do also like a reverse engineering of a, of a game to think about the people with different kinds of needs. We need to relearn how we plan projects so the the process of making a project accessible or inclusive doesn't start when we have the project when we host the project it starts long time before and um, we need to relearn what we have to take into account um, how to design an info pack what are practical tips you can follow to identify potential barriers that might deter participants from joining your programs everyone has biases and individuals who have grown up with significant privileges might struggle to recognize potential barriers young people can face. Thinking collectively can be highly beneficial. Seek input from other youth workers and youth organizations to review your project design and communication. Also consult resources that help you improve your understanding of inclusion and how to lower barriers. Don't assume about people's needs, ask them. To get a better grasp of the needs of specific groups, you can reach out to self-representing organisations, for example. Some participation barriers are invisible. Young people who've never had opportunities to participate in such programmes might not feel that these experiences are meant for them. Make sure to provide a lot of information that can give these young people assurance that their needs will be met during the programme. Provide detailed information, not only about the activity's schedule and content, but also about the logistics, the team and the setting. Also include contact details for follow-up questions. For more tips, check the description. Do you need additional guidance? Consult the resources of Salto Inclusion and Diversity and the Strategic Partnership for Inclusion.